Happy now. All is now. It's a gift to be in the present. Fresh say sun and back in. You're putting out my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness. You're now tuning into the mind of an algae and moon. And it is Thursday, aka Jupiter Day. It is also Taurus hours. Alright, so this is the moon uh, message slash moon transit. So we have moon in Aries, okay? So moon in Aries, sun in Scorpio, okay? So with this, this is, this plays out where... It's in, in conjunction, aligning with the sun, okay? So five signs apart. So it's, and this, this plays out as misunderstandings, misunderstand, misunderstanding how we should be going towards our passions, okay? But with this, as a as a Aries moon, our our passions is more out there. It's more in your face. It's more light, you know, because this is the light side of Mars. Aries is the day side of Mars. Scorpio is the night side of Mars, which means their passions, desires, motivations, willpower is more hidden. It's more in the dark, you know? So with the sun being in the death stage, you know, as we're in Scorpio season now, fully, and it just basically with this means things are coming to an end and we will be finding more we'll be rebirthing again okay and transforming again so when something ends something starts okay <clears throat> So the misunderstandings, misunderstandings, misunderstandings how to take actions towards our passions, okay? Misunderstanding how we can take actions towards our passions, how we emotionally can feel towards our passions, our deep desires, our intent motivations all these things could be we could be it could be misaligned at this time okay so yeah uh we also have moon moon squaring Yeah, Moon Square and Pluto. Okay. So squares are learning processes. Okay. So at this time, we'll be learning emotionally what to transform. Em emotionally learning what to transform. You know, what to change. You know, so we can then move on towards you know that phoenix being that phoenix or rebirthing you know and being a better version of yourself you know so learning what to transform to rise and become a better version of yourself you know so We got Moon 
in conjuncting Venus. Moon in conjuncting Venus. Okay. Venus and Virgo. Moon in conjuncting Venus and Virgo. So, with this, this is basically when Moon in conjunction plays as misunderstandings again. So, with Aries being the Moon, okay, and Venus being Virgo, it's placed, Venus is placed in that working working stage where it wants where it doesn't where it doesn't want to be okay so with this and and you know the moon is naturally wants to be in cancer but being in aries you know that's basically making us want to think more towards ourself and with Venus being in Virgo is more of like service, you know, so it's basically self versus service. That's the missing understanding with our love matters and our relationships and for people, places and things. Okay. We have Sun opposing Jupiter. Sun opposing Jupiter. Okay, so with this, this is basically Jupiter, Sun being in Scorpio, okay, and making us really want to go towards, you know, our passions, our deep desires, our motivations, and, and more it's in a secretive way. And Jupiter in Taurus makes us like, or gives us, you know, Jupiter deals with the abundance and the, and the, and the matern, the maternal, the money, the luck, the wealth. It's a, it's a benefic planet. A benefic planet and so with this in Taurus you know it's actually that's where it is you know where it's just like it's Taurus dealing with the stability you know the patience you know the the this is dealing with Venus you know Taurus being ruled by Venus you know the love for the material you know so but Jupiter just expands that you know Jupiter just expands you know the the amount of material we can gain at this time you know so Sun opposing Jupiter, you know, we're, we're at odds, we're at odds towards, you know, all the, let's say, things that has to do with, uh, money, you know, the, the maternal, where the, it's, the, the sun and Jupiter is at odds, you know, so it's basically makes it a lot of uh, makes it a whole lot harder to be able to manifest things such as material money, maternal and stuff like that. All right. So, Jupiter opposing Mars. Jupiter opposing Mars. So, 
Mars and Scorpio where it's home. And yeah, Mars is home in Scorpio. So it it's Mars home in Scorpio, Jupiter in Taurus. So motivations, desires and passions is all there when it comes to, you know, how we, you know, how we can go about manifesting all these uh, desires that human, human, humans want in this reality, you know, so, but when it comes to Jupiter, you know, Jupiter is still at odds, so it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be the the full it's not gonna gain the full effect of let's say if if Mars was in or Jupiter was in Pisces and it was trining Mars type shit, you know? But right now it's at odds, you know. So Yeah, those, let's see, hold on, let's see, we got, we got Saturn, let's see, Saturn and Pisces sextile Jupiter. Saturn and Pisces, Saturn and Pisces, exile Jupiter, and Taurus. Okay. So with this, this is basically, you know, Saturn being in Saturn being in Pisces is dealing with imaginations dreams, you know, subconscious, okay, subconscious programming to a certain extent, and with uh, Saturn being about reality, you know, this is, this is what reality is right now, it's about the subconscious community, you know, or the subconscious, or, you know, just how people, uh, train their minds or yeah so right now it's how people people are more in the imagination okay and their creativity okay so sex styles deal with opportunities so you know this is more these two planets are slow moving planets so we're gonna have this you know little sex this sex cell for a little a good while so it just plays out opportunities to be able to expand with you expand your material your maternal with what you what you're into in your day-to-day -day reality okay or what you're into to to gain some sort of foundation in your life. Okay. We also have Saturn, sextile, Uranus. Okay. And Jupiter. Uranus and Jupiter. So, Saturn and Pisces, Uranus and Jupiter. So, this is basically the opportunities to go about being being unique and being, you know, having opportunities to, you know, show your uniqueness in reality and to, to gain some sort of foundation in your reality with your uniqueness or gain some sort of, uh, maternal or material for it. Okay. So, yeah.
let's see. We did I say moon? Moon in conjuncting, moon in conjuncting, uh, Mars. Moon in conjuncting Mars, if I didn't say that. Uh, so this is misunderstanding our passions and how we can go about, you know, misunderstanding how we feel about our passions and how we can go about manifesting go about uh getting uh or working towards a better self you know with our passions or learning learning about our passions or misunderstanding our passions, my bad. Yeah. Misunderstanding our deep desires, motivations, intentions, passions, and willpower. So yeah, fresh say signing out. Catch you next time.